What's going on out there, YouTube? This is SEL0320 representing JVS. I had a quick open discussion. I'm going to have probably like three of these today. I've had one already about a theory that I had about an imminent death of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Check that video out whenever you can, whenever I upload it. Another video I'm going to be coming out with in a little bit, more kind of like a long announcement video. I don't know if I'm going to do it or not. Anyway, um, this is about the fact that a lot of people have been asking me, you know, Cell, why have you not put out a discussion video for Batman vs Superman? Do you think it's not worthy of that? Do you think it's not worth it? Um, to be real and honest, I felt like if you've seen my backlash video with Batman vs Superman. I really couldn't even allow myself to even really truly enjoy the experience of Batman Two Men. Um, unfortunately, I know a lot of people have been jaded or had problems with Batman Two Men. I really liked it. I didn't have a real big issue with it, but everybody else did, you know. And it was a lot of heat going and burning back and forth with it. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna let this die down, and I'm gonna take my time with it, and then I'm gonna come back and do it. I just didn't know when, but then I had an epiphany about when I wanted to. I'm really happy about everybody that's been having a really good recession for Civil War. God forbid something would happen with that one. Um, but that ended up being a huge cloud feed, which I knew. I mean, I knew, and I told Jarrell when we were having an open discussion about whether it was going to be good or not, I was like, you don't understand. They're adding Spider-Man in own, its own franchise to you know, a film that is supposed to be, you know, a cap center film, but really it's a Cap, Avengers, and now Spider-Man film. So I, I kind of knew that that was going to be a real big crowd pleaser. And Marvel knows how to make people energized with the aesthetic of, you know, just likability and stuff like that, you know. And I think that DC is trying to make a really bold stance. Not just that, this is their second film of their universe. So, I mean, for me, I, I'm, they got a lot of groundwork they got to take, but I didn't have really issue with it. But at the time, I was like, I'm just going to take a step back. So, my theory was that I wanted to do is I wanted to wait for the release for the Ultimate Edition. Because that way, take the cards out of there. If you, if you liked it, disliked it, look at the Ultimate Edition, then we'll come up with the natural discussion. Because to me, to be fair, if this is the, even though it's not going to be the actual full movie, because the original movie is supposed to be, I think, four hours. This is going to be three hours and maybe some change. But this will be what, I guess, to me, should have been in the movie theater. So... That way we leave all speculation out the door. We will leave all the cards out the door. So on, well this is, well, this is an impossibility standpoint. They've already made an announcement that on Amazon.it that the 4K version had a release date tracked for July the 15th of 2016. It was my understanding that the cards that I saw in Best Buy, they said it for July or something. I can't remember. Um... So my theory was that it was going to come out in July, I just thought it was going to be a little bit afterwards. It would make sense, it would be right after Comic-Con though. So I think that, that actually, it might be some weight to that. I don't know. But actually that would be right before Comic-Con. So we'll see. I don't know. But whatever date, the tracking date for Batman vs Superman, the Ultimate Edition, um, that weekend I'm going to try to get people together and have an open discussion about it so that gives people opportunity to watch Ultimate Edition if they choose to and even if they don't then we go and have a live open discussion about it because it'll be the true to form version of Zack Snyder's incorporation regardless of what you say about Zack Snyder he's the one that you know helped bring this to fruition just as much as Christopher Nolan did pave the way so um but yeah I, I don't know I, let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section below you think that's a good idea you think I should just bury it you know <laughs> It's over. <laughs> nah, uh, I think either way it deserves its due. Um, but I'm definitely going to be still having a Civil War uh, discussion sometime next week. But anyway, I just want to make an announcement about the fact that I still am going to be having a Batman vs Superman live discussion. And it's going to be around the time of whenever the um, Ultimate Edition comes out and releases out. So let me know what y'all's thoughts are in the comment section below. If y'all are excited about this, if you're not, if you're excited about the Ultimate Edition coming out, if you're going to be intrigued in watching that, let me know that in the comment section below as well. If you hated it and stuff like that, please remember, I got feelings. <laughs> anyway, keep it locked. JBS, we ain't going to stop. I got some stuff I got to review and edit. Peace, y'all.